What's going on Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we are out here in Waipahu trying out some Hawaiian barbecue. We have been craving Hawaiian barbecue. We should order another one. I don't think I'm getting that back. Mm. With a little bit of Filipino twist at the end, you guys will see. Oh my god, this is fun. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're super excited, so let's get eating. Just part guys, we are back out here in the area of Waipahu. Haven't been here in a minute. Whoa, oh, we slipped on a curb. Anyway, our first stop is a Hawaiian barbecue joint called Aina Grill. Some of you may have already know about this place. It's yeah. gonna be our first time trying it out. So let's see what they have. One of the greatest foodie areas here on Oahu, Waipahu. You can eat so many different local grinds here. A lot of hidden gems. Yes, a lot of hidden gems that don't break the bank. We are trying out a new place today. This place is known for having their challenge, like the local moco burrito 10 pound challenge. But we're not doing that today. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are trying out some of their Hawaiian barbecue offerings as well as an awesome sandwich. And you know I love my sandwiches. Very interesting the way that they have their plate lunches set up. It's kind of like a build your own plate lunch. You can literally choose anything you want. It's very customizable. Choose your protein, choose your sides, enjoy. Yes. 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 Thank you. And then the Italy cheesesteak. Thank, Thank you so much. Ah, the unveiling. This is my favorite part. What was my favorite part at a new place? Oh. Mm. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, it's piping hot. Oh my gosh, my hand is burning. I don't even care. So today we got a mixed plate and here they grill everything to order. So we got two entrees and three sides. The entrees we chose were the pork skewers. We actually got the last pork skewers and the hoisin barbecue chicken. You wanted to try the hoisin chicken, right? Yes. So this isn't just your typical teriyaki chicken. This is hoisin chicken. It's a Chinese style sauce and it's savory, but also sweet, a little bit sweet. I'm gonna try the pork skewers because okay. I gotta have my meats on a skewer. It's yeah. the only way meat should be eaten. And the pork skewers too, they give a pretty big portion. So the normal regular plate will come with three. The mini plate comes with two. Jiggly fat piece is my favorite piece right here. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. I like the char. It's slightly sweet, very flavorful. It's a hoisin base, so you can definitely taste the hoisin sauce. It's not as sweet as a terry chicken. I do believe hoisin sauce does char up really nicely. I love grilled meats that are marinated in a sweeter sauce type of marinade. It caramelizes really nicely and it gives it that little extra char and crunch that we love. And the hoisin chicken also, I kind of tasted a Chinese spice in there. Pork is very tender. Once again, I love the char, the smokiness from the grill. Not too sweet, not too salty, just right. Do I try this uh, potato thing? So this is like their take on a cheesy potato. This is the side right here. And I will try their special house-made papaya dressing garden salad. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. It's like a savory mac and cheese type of sauce. The potato is very tender. This sauce is like the sauce from um, scallop potato. It's almost like a, a, a mix between like a cheese and hollandaise sauce. Mm. Oh, I like their dressing. It's on the lighter side. Not too sweet either. Hint of papaya. I'm gonna try the hoisin chicken. It's really good. Mm. I like it. Oh, the hoisin chicken for sure. You're gonna go with mac salad without me? Oh yeah, I had to. Mm. Mm. The max is a little on the sweeter side, but mm. it gets the job done. If you want that creaminess added to your barbecue. Wait, but this max salad is kind of addicting. It's like mm. sweet, savory, creamy. Mm -hmm. I really wish we got rice. We should have just mm. got rice. Spanish rice was a choice of the side. The man didn't want it. Oh, 
broke my heart. Next time I'm coming back, I'm making my own plate lunch here. <laughs> I need to get into this sandwich because it's calling my name. At Aina Grill here, they're also known for their sandwiches. I saw they had burgers, fish sandwiches, but my heart went to the cheesesteak because you guys know I, I love my cheesesteak. So here, they call it the 808 cheesesteak. It is served on a hoagie roll, chopped up steak. It's a local chopped steak with onion, bell peppers, tomatoes, pepper jack cheese, house sauce on a hoagie roll. Ooh. And when the lady helping us said it was loaded, she was not kidding. This thing is so loaded, it's split in half at the bottom. <laughs> they don't skip oh. out here, it's generous. There's steak falling from heaven. Ooh, grilled onions too. I cannot wait. Oh, how do I hey, eat this? This is a one biter for you. Yes, and it's gonna be a messy sandwich. I guess oh. I'll try the, the coleslaw. Ooh. Mm. Oh man, that house sauce is like a, a little sweet gravy type of sauce. You see the edges here, it's a little dry. I'm gonna re-dunk it just to get a bitter taste of that sauce. This is one messy, delicious cheese steak. I wanna try some too. Yeah, thanks mm. so much, Ella. It's awesome today. Huh? Look mm. Mm. And that same cheese sauce they use on the potatoes, they drizzle it all over the sandwich. They don't skip on that either. You can see from the top, the steak is very tender. Mm. The house sauce is kind of like a beef stew sauce. Like I taste beef and I taste a little mm. hint of tomato. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a beef stew, but in a sauce. Oh wow. man, delicious, messy. My theory is if a sandwich looks too proper, too clean, it probably doesn't taste as good. It needs to be messy for it to be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> sauce all over. Like a shit. It needs to be messy. I forgot to mention, the coleslaw is tangy a little bit. It's on the lighter side. It's not a super heavy, mayo-y, overdressed coleslaw. I really like it because it kind of like cleanses your palate. You, you have on the soggy fry shirt. You gotta try the fries. Soggy fry gang, you guys. Going in with the soggy fries because soggy fry gang. Is it soggy? No. It looks like twice fried mm. with the skin on. Love french fries with the skin on, very rustic. It's more like a soft on the inside, but crispy on the outside. Oh, it's a meaty fry too. You guys know that we're actually near Leeward Drive-In. It's literally across the street. Their fries are like oh, yeah. delicious. One of our favorites at a drive-in for sure. I'm gonna try the steak now, the, the cheese steak. I'm going in for it, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. <laughs> Mm. 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 Tons of flavor, cheesy, saucy. The steak is tender. The steak isn't your usual chopped steak, thinly shaven steaks. These are more cut up fillets of steak. Very meaty, very generous. We should order another one. I don't think I'm getting that back. Mm. Mm. You gotta take it away when she's chewing. So. That's delicious, you guys. If you guys are saucy people, if you like beef stew and you like chopped steak and you like bread, this is the sandwich for you. It literally tastes like a beef stew sandwich, but with cheese. And with all the extra sauce that slipped from the plate, why not use your fries to soak it all up? Come on, guys, don't let a good thing go to waste. But you guys, we have so much more food we're gonna be showing you today, so we'll see you at the next spot. This next place is located right here in Tropicana Square in Waipahu once again. We featured a bunch of places here, including a pupusa shop and Elena's Filipino food. If you guys haven't seen those videos yet, please check them out. But we're here already at our next stop called... Minasa. Minasa. It means to mash in Filipino. Oh, I did not know that. Found it on their website. We are here at Minasa, like Felix mentioned. They do have indoor seating. It's super, super cute and super aesthetic in there, but for copyright reasons, for YouTube, we have to sit outside. There is a bench. It is hot today, but I'm so excited to try this spot out. So they're known for a specialty dessert, which you guys know we ordered, but we found out that they actually have super cool Filipino fusion type of dishes with a local flair. So we're super, super excited to be trying that as well. So of course, we had to get it first. Ooh, what can it be? Ja -ja -ja. Oh, it's all covered. But, oh wow, this actually looks really good. Wow. And then we also got, ooh. What, what is that? I don't even ooh. remember what we got. Holy. Luchan fries. These look loaded. Okay, Fudio, wow. the box could not even contain it. Look, can you show a side view? The box cannot close. That's how much they give you here. I even see the the banana ketchup on there. Is oh, it banana man. ketchup? This is... What is that sauce called? Um, I'll get back to you guys on that. Mang Tomas, that's the one. That's the sauce. We love Mang Tomas. All right, Furiana, the first thing I really wanted to try was their lechon fries and you know what? 
I figured you gotta eat some in order to close the box, so why not start off with these bad boys? This takes loaded fries to a whole new level. Did you um, even get a fry? That just no, looks I like didn't. a chon. Oh, I hear that crunch. Mm. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me right now. The lechon is so crispy, so soft, so meaty. It's topped off nicely with that mung tamas sauce. If you guys don't know what mung tamas sauce is, it's basically just a condiment that a lot of Filipinos use on their lechon. They do have a little bit of like a sweet mayo sauce on top here, this type of crema. Adds that nice extra layer of creaminess. And of course, a final crunch of the crinkle cut fries on the bottom. So much flavors, so much layers of texture. Look how meaty this piece is right here. Mm. Lachan is Filipino roast pork. One of my absolute favorite things to eat here in Hawaii. You definitely need to get these loaded lechon fries. There's even bacon bits. I totally forgot about that. It just kind of blends in all together. Adds that extra depth of saltiness. Oh wow. You guys hear that crunch, right? Mmm. Oh, you're making me want to eat it so bad. It's so good. Soggy fry or crispy fry? Crispy fry. Everything's crispy all the way. Ooh. As you get deeper into it, there's even more condiments. There's green onions, diced onions and green onions in here as well. As a nice sharp spiciness to the flavor profile. Oh my gosh. Can I just give another shout out to how big these bowls are? Like this is not, like just, this is my hand and this is the bowl. Do you, do you see what I mean? Like it's it's a pretty decent amount. So this is the fried chicken with calamansi glaze and there's even bacon garlic fried rice on the bottom. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so excited for this. The minute I open this container, you can smell the calamansi, the citrus going for the chicken. I thought that this bowl couldn't get any better, but if you look at the bottom, there's multiple layers of chicken in there. Like down there, there's more chicken. The serving sizes are very generous yeah, here. Yeah, very generous serving sizes. Going for the chicken. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I love that the chicken is subtly sweet. It has like a nice citrus element to it to combat the fried goodness. It's subtly crunchy as well. Very moist and very succulent at the same time. I think it's like more of a corn starch or potato starch kind of batter on the outside. So it's nice and thin, crispy, light, not too heavy. I just love anything calamansi. Nice and tangy, a little bit sour. Now I'm going for the rice. Guys, I literally have to move a mountain to get to the rice. Wow. A mountain of chicken. Garlic, bacon, fried rice. I see little chunks of garlic. It looks like white rice with some bacon. This is like a Filipino style garlic rice. Mmm. Mmm. The calamansi that we squeezed on earlier just seeped down to the garlic rice goodness. And every rice bowl has this garlic bacon fried rice. I love how there's even the greens on here. It's slightly pickled. I think this is um, green papaya with some carrots, pickled ong choy, and some micro greens. That is delicious. It has such a fragrant flavor and it definitely adds to this, the citrus element. Felix likes to use the word accoutrement, but yeah, it is perfect, this will definitely satisfy your craving. So this next dish we want to try was offered to us by Chef Maleko. Very awesome dude. We just met him and found out that him and his wife watched the channel. How crazy is that, guys? So this isn't quite on the menu yet. It's in its experimental phase. His take on the lechon kawali, but it's chicken kawali. There's some sliced raw onions, diced tomatoes, crispy kara age style chicken with their homemade sauce. Oh yeah. Oh man, that batter is extra crispy. The sauce has a nice vinegary kick to it. It also has a little heat. I believe it's just patis or fish sauce. It's kind of like a ponzu type of sauce, but you can really taste the fish sauce. And I love that it's chicken, so you don't have to feel too guilty eating this. It is a bit spicy, but for me, it's perfect. I love that kick. You weren't gonna eat it anyway. Mmm. I wanted to try. There's raw onions everywhere. So we ended up moving inside because the owners are so, so nice. They were saying how hot it was outside and we kind of talked about how the music was too loud. So they're so nice to accommodate. They turned down the music just for us. They're just so nice here. It's unbelievable. They also gifted us this non-alcoholic craft seltzer, Lucid Lush craft seltzer. This is the strawberry margarita version. And this is a low calorie craft seltzer. 
You guys know we love our seltzer waters. Mm. Is that not refreshing, satisfying? Oh. Okay, trying it out. Cheers. Oh, I can smell the strawberry from here. Mm, wait, this tastes like a strawberry icy. So as we mentioned earlier in this video, we we're talking about what they're known for here. I mean, NASA has been doing pop-ups. We have not been able to make it out to any of them. We are waiting for them to have a brick and mortar. I've been dying to try this. Even the Vons has sent me pictures of this to try. Sorry, she's in Vegas, so she's not here with us. We did invite her, but guys, look. It is ube churros, you guys. What in the world? Is this not the most beautiful -est thing you've ever seen in your life? What can be better than ube and churros? And it is piping hot, made fresh. Can I eat it? Okay. And I love the ube sugar on there and the ube sauce. Okay, I gotta go for it. I'm like, my mouth is literally watering. Mm. Mm. Wait, so crunchy on the outside. I think this is a ube cheesecake sauce. It's not super oily, subtly sweet, not overly sweet. You would think this would be really, really sweet, but it's not, you guys. This is like my perfect dessert. Crunchy, creamy on the inside, nice and fluffy. Wait, it literally is creamy on the inside. Wait, do you see that, you guys? It is nice and creamy. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Oh my god, this is fine. <laughs> mm. mm -mm. No, 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 no. Guys, if you are debating whether or not to come here, just come here. Do not leave without this. If you don't like churros, I don't care. Just get it. It's so good. McDonald's, she just hired me also for Grimace's next birthday. <laughs> I don't know I don't know what Grimace's shake is. It does not even hold a candle compared to this purple treat of a dessert. I'm scraping the sauce off the container because it's not good. I don't want to waste the sauce. Do not leave Minasa or Waipahu in general without getting that churro. Hey guys, we are not yet quite finished because yet another innovative dish has came out of the kitchen for us to try. This is their steak and rice bowl. It reminds me of a Vietnamese dish called Ba Lup Lak, which just means shaken beef. And I can already see the fried garlic chips. And it comes with the finna dene sauce. Ooh, there's even an over easy egg to this dish just writes home for me. The nicely cooked steak with a bit of that fried garlic on top. A squeeze of calamansi all over. Mm. If you guys like steak and eggs for breakfast, this is the ultimate steak and eggs bowl. Mm. The steak itself is not too salty, which is perfect because it goes with everything else. Let's try the finna dene sauce with it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. I'm drinking the sauce. It's that good. A little bit salty, a little bit sour, very bright flavors. It's the perfect combination of local and Filipino fusion. Also, Vietnamese, why not? Okay. It's, it's just a culmination of everything I love and hold dear. And I thought that we were done, but Chef was so, so, so nice to make us this tamarind shrimp rice bowl. It has like the smell and the look of pinak bet with the vegetables, with the tomatoes, the smell, just the smell of it. You guys know I love that kind of flavor. I love tamarind. Huge pieces of tomato, mushroom, ang choy. This is my dish right here. I am so excited. And this also has the garlic bacon fried rice on the bottom. Mm. Mm, that spice just gets you. I love the hint of the tomatoiness. Mm. Mm. There's even the peppers in here. Yeah, this is kind of like a... The tamarind sauce is kind of fruity, spicy, tangy, a little sourness. But if you guys love vegetables, if you're not big pork or beef eaters, but you eat shrimp, definitely try this out. I think this is my bowl. Like if you were to assign me a bowl, this would be me. Well, we just want to say thank you again for everything. It was really good. Thank you so it much. Good. It was so great to meet you. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much.
Oh boy, that was a lot of food, Foodie Ohana, but everything today tastes amazing. Shout outs again to the staff and of course Chef Maleko and his wife Anne. Thank you guys again so much. Highly, highly recommend getting their ube churros. Like if you're in the area, just, just stop by, just get the churros. <laughs> If you had to choose just two things, very hard to do, yes. but the churro and the lechon fries. You'll have a good time, trust us. You will not be steered wrong, trust and, me. And guys, real quick, I just wanted to mention, Chef Maleko did explain to us a little backstory about how he started the whole restaurant business. And prior to this, he was helping a lot at nonprofits, giving back to the community. He still does so to this day. So come on down guys, support a good cause, enjoy awesome grinds because it was honestly tasty, delicious. If you liked today's video, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And if you have not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button to support us it's completely free and, and we'd love for you to join our foodie ohana but together we can continue supporting local businesses and supporting really really great and awesome people as well all right foodie, until the next one get the lechon fries that ube churro don't forget that cheesesteak hawaiian barbecue oh my goodness today was a really good episode yeah. anyways guys peace out bye guys it's not as sweet as a cherry ticket what cherry ticket and then you get and then it's, oh. It's not as sweet as a cherry chicken. What? No. Oh. So this next dish we wanted to try is what? They're known for some. And guys, like, I put. Hey. What did you do? Where is it? Oh. <sighs> the casualties are filming. Why did you do that? <laughs> no, I, dro I dropped the potato, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a <clears throat> called. How to get from your mouth to there? I was showing the camera. Mm. I was showing because you guys eat first. You know that food, Johanna. Especially for. All right, guys. The first thing I'm. All right, guys. The first thing <gasps> I really what? Oh, flies. Let's put this here. Is that the rail making that noise? Oh yeah. So this next dish we want. Huh? So this next dish we want. Whoa. We good? We're not done yet. Let's get another. You know you don't have your mic on now. Oh. Oh, that thing I said.